software center to your Linux, uh, what you want to do is go to Chrome flags and, and make sure you enable uh, VM on experimental kernels. Uh, what that allow you to do is actually set up Linux um, on your Chromebook uh, if your Chromebook supports it. So after you enable that VM and you have to restart your computer afterwards, go to settings and go to the Linux beta. Make sure you hit turn on, obviously, since we're turning it on. Uh, but after you do that, it's going to take a little minute to actually install it, well, to actually activate it, uh, which gives me a little time to go ahead and say, if you're liking my, uh, my channel, guys, if you're vibing with what I'm vibing with, or if you even just think I'm doing a good job, you just want to show me a little pity, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you hit the little bell icon. So anytime I release something new, you get an update, you get a notification to say, hey, Kalen dropped something new uh, on his channel. You know, it'd be kind of amazing. I'm just trying to grow this channel. Uh, so you know, share it with your friends, your family. Let's turn this channel into an actual community where we can just share ideas, help each other learn, uh, because technology is awesome, but a lot of people are scared of it because they're like, oh, it's too tough. So uh, let's kind of break that down, make it easier for everyone to enjoy uh, these amazing pieces of machinery that we have in this world. Uh, now, I will say that this part right here takes a little while. So if you want, go get you a snack, uh, some coffee, water, popcorn, whatever, uh, and just kind of, you know, let it do its thing. Uh, I think when I was recording this video, I actually just kind of walked off. Uh, I recorded it while I, was, while I was on vacation. I set my laptop down and continued my vacation things. And it was only like a five minute break, but hey, five minutes is five minutes. Uh, so yeah, I had to trim this video down significantly. So you guys weren't just watching me wait for uh, for forever. But if I am correct, we should be coming up on the, uh, the end of this kind of soon-ish. Um, Again, while you're waiting, think of some ideas what you want to do for 2020. Uh, so once it finishes uh, actually doing this thing, uh, the terminal should pop up. If it doesn't, just go to your settings app, look up terminal, launch the terminal. Uh, here on this screen, this is where a lot of people get scared with Linux. Uh, it's not really bad. Just got to follow. Just follow some instructions. Uh, one thing we're going to run first is the sudo app git update uh, command. That command will allow us to make sure we have everything up to date, which you should since we just installed Linux. It's probably be quick and easy. Uh, the next part after this finishes is we're going to actually install the GNOME Software Center. So actually this time you're going to do the sudo app to get again, but you're going to hit install. We're going to press install uh, after the sudo app get command. And after that, you're going to type in GNOME hyphen software and then GNOME hyphen package kit. And make sure you do that correctly. If not, you won't be able to get further than uh, than we are here. So go ahead, let that happen. Uh, and what I will say is, is that it's going to take a a little bit of time uh, after you hit enter, it'll ask you to hit Y for yes, so you can so you can continue the install. And uh, doing that, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit longer again. Uh, now this one really does take a little bit of time, so I would say is I'm gonna put a little bit of music on. You guys go ahead and just zone out and just listen to the music, and or get will get a snack again because I know that's what I did. It took a nice little minute, so we'll let that keep going and going, and then. Um, yeah. that is said and done uh, what you'll actually do is you'll make sure you finish uh, and then you'll turn around and we're gonna actually install what's called the flat hub repository this will actually allow us to have access to more apps uh, the original gnome software center has just what's basically their repositories allow you to extend the software center so what you want to do is go to a uh, flat hub dot org uh, or you can go to Google then flat hub like I did but Make it easy on yourself. Just go to flathub.org. You're going to hit the quick setup button. After you do that, you'll see a whole bunch of different distros for Linux. Uh, you're going to hit the, the Chrome symbol since we're using Chrome OS. We've already done steps one and two. Step three, all you need to do, and this is really easy, you just need to copy that little bit of code and paste it into your terminal. Now, when, don't get confused. It's Control-Shift-V to, to paste into your terminal. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. Just hit Control-V and it won't work. So make sure you do Control-Shift-V. 
D. So after that gets through installed, then you're gonna do step four. Step four is easy. Again, you just copy and paste that code into your terminal and then you just let your, your computer do its job, which is adding the repository. And this time after you hit enter, it won't look like it's doing anything, but it does. It adds the repository so we remotely pull down those applications. After that, step five is probably easier than the control uh, than the copy and paste. You need to restart your computer. Restart your machine, and of course, you won't see me recording the restarting of my machine uh, because the machine will be off. But after it gets powered back on, you're just going to go ahead and go to your settings, um, and then you're going to type in software. This will pull up the software center, which is what we're looking for, of course. Once you get that pulled up, it won't look like much right now. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't populate uh, a lot of extra apps and stuff. Uh, but I guess I said the way the software center is, it's kind of clean. Uh, but it is, it's installed and it's up and running now, which technically this is the end of the, the video on the tutorial video. So of course I want to say thank you for hanging around with me, uh, and just let me be able to walk you that you guys through. Uh, I'm not the best when it comes to teaching, but Hey, why not? Um, uh, now what I will say is play around with the software center. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there. You can make your machine 10 times more useful. Um, and I'm just going to sit here and play around and install an emulator uh, i like playstation i've always like i've always been a sony guy so i'm just gonna install me a playstation emulator uh you guys just hang around watch it uh or if you're done explore the center find something else you want uh as you can see there's a game boy advance emulator so if you like game boy advance games go ahead and get that too um but yeah the software center is really cool it just allows you to do almost anything you want with your machine at this point uh so keep rocking with it again if you're liking my channel if you're vibing with me Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, help me grow. Hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date with my uh, my releases. Uh, I won't be doing it 24-7, but anytime I drop something, get a notification. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and say thank you guys for rocking with me. If you got any comments on how I can better myself, let me know. Other than that, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.